Hello, this is Bakayaro here once again to push the airship agenda. Today I've got something really cool to show you. So, if you download the world save that I'll provide with this video, uh, and then you run a server uh, based off of it, and you will have to turn command blocks on, uh, but anyway, you run that server, uh, and then you log in, you will get this. Except you won't have a whole bunch of coal in your hands. I gave myself a bunch of coal so that we could get somewhere, which will become clear later. Anyway, um, and you see this button. You'll never guess what will happen if I push this button. Ta-da! An airship. Okay, so, uh, as you may know, plug-in development is currently at a standstill. Uh, because of legal trouble and because 1.8 is just a very big update, I cannot currently update Movecraft to 1.8. So, rather than leave you airshipless, since it is, after all, my life's ambition to bring the wonders of airships to the common man, I've made a fully functional Movecraft-style airship using nothing but command blocks. So that you can continue to use airships until the plug-in APIs for 1.8 come out, at which point I will, of course, update Movecraft. Alright, so let's get up here, and I can show you how this thing works. Open the door, hop in. <clears throat> Hop in, there we go. So let me stress once again, uh, this uses no plugins, no mods, just command blocks, and you just and there's no commands to type in or signs or piloting sticks or anything like that. You just use these levers and switches to control the airship. So let's talk about controls. Uh, the way this thing works is you can cruise forward using this switch. So if I turn this switch, and the engine is powered and fueled. Uh, that I'll, I'll explain that more later. Uh, as long as this switch is thrown, the aircraft will continue to move forward at a reasonable pace. Uh, you could outrun it if you were sprinting along the ground, uh, if you didn't have to climb too many mountains, that is. But it's, like I say, a reasonable pace. These buttons turn right and left, uh, and... And that's the only way to change the direction of motion. Uh, unlike Movecraft, you cannot move directly to the side at a lower speed or anything like that. It's just forward. Uh, and then these buttons on the back, of course, descend and ascend. As this sign says, ascending is a little dangerous. Uh, I've found that this is really only an issue in single player. Single player doesn't seem to respond quite as well as the uh, server does. But, uh, yeah, I still, when I'm flying this, I just stand up here just to be safe, so that when I'm ascending, uh, I won't fall through the floor. Uh, also, the rest of the ship, as you can see, is all raised up a little bit, especially the upper decks, uh, so you're unlikely to fall through the floor uh, anywhere except the bridge. Now, I mentioned the need for fuel, so let me show you that. So here we are in the engine room of the ship and we have a fuel slot right here and I'm going to load all of my coal into this fuel slot that should be enough for a good long flight <clears throat> uh, now let's talk about the fuel so it uses fuel as long as the engine is on regardless of whether the ship is moving or not it will continue to consume fuel the ship will stop moving if it runs out of fuel uh, but as soon as I turn this on, and then this light indicates if the, sh if the engine has power, which it now does, it will now consume fuel. And this will slowly go down over time until it runs out of fuel and the airship stops. Alright, so now let's go back to the bridge. And I'm going to start ascending uh, because uh, we're going to head over to the city of Varus. Um, the, the world download that I've given you with this uh, is from the Airship Pirate series. Uh, just because I, I wanted you to have a really cool area to explore, and the Airship Pirate series has, at least in my opinion, some of the best uh, scenery that you're going to see uh, in the world in in my, the Minecraft game. All right, so we'll need some altitude to get over some of these rolling hills nearby. Uh, so I'm just going to go over here. Oh, I'll shut the door. Don't want to fall out. Uh, and we're going to start ascending. I'm just going to bring this up so that I can watch my Y coordinate. All right, so while we're ascending, let's talk about a few things. Uh, so as I mentioned, you need to turn on command blocks. Uh, so you'll need to open up your server.properties file in your server folder, find enable command block, and change, uh, it'll default to false, 
you'll need to change it to say true. Um, let's see, and then we should talk about the rotation system. So uh, there is no command block rotate, right? So the way I do rotations is there are four copies of this ship uh, buried in the ground near the server spawn, basically beneath my feet right now. And it uses those four copies of the ship facing in the cardinal directions in order to um, paste in the airship facing in different directions. So every time I rotate the ship, it is in fact a whole new ship that it is pasting in. Uh, now there's some things you need to know about that. First off, uh, you do need that underground uh, area where all of those copies are stored. Let's see, 168, that should be more than enough. Okay, um, so, okay, you saw all those messages, unable to locate sign. So it's amusing to note that this system, like early builds of Movecraft, uh, has the same problem. Uh, the, the, even though I'm using the, the actual Minecraft commands, it still has a problem with disappearing signs. Now this is purely cosmetic, that sign is not actually gone, but it does look like it's gone, uh, and it, all you have to do to fix it is you log out, and you log back in. Simple. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start the ship cruising forward. I think we should clear that hill. And if not, then the ship will simply stop. Uh, which brings up a good point. Uh, so this has basic collision detection. Um, the collision detection system is far from perfect. It errs on the side of caution. What that means is, particularly with rotations, if you're, if you're low to the ground and there's some trees maybe nearby, even though it looks like you should be fine and it should let you rotate, it won't let you rotate. So just rise first, go up first, then you can rotate. It's as simple as that. Um, and you'll see that a lot. Uh, there's, let's see. So unlike Movecraft, there's no way for the system to tell you what's wrong, to give the pilot feedback. So that, for example, if it won't go forward, you don't know if it won't go forward because it's out of fuel, or if the engines are off, or if it's blocked by something, you have to check yourself. You have to go back, look at the fuel light on the engine, and see if the engine's even running. Uh, and so on. Let's see, um, other things that we need to talk about is uh, sometimes the controls are not very responsive. Uh, let's see, if I right-click this, yeah, so I right-clicked it, the switch didn't change. Right-click again, switch didn't change. Just keep trying until it works. And what does that mean? Well, that means that your airship will not stop on a dime. But you know what? Airships don't stop on a dime, so honestly, I'm fine with that. All right, let's keep going. Uh, what else should we talk about? Uh, sometimes the ship will leave ghost trails behind it. Uh, well, I can't really check right now, but um, if I were to look behind myself, I would probably see lots of copies of my ship back there. Uh, and they, they fade after time, don't worry about it, they just get cleaned up. Um, other things, uh, every time you rotate, it's a whole new ship, so that uh, it's copied from the, those rooms I was talking about. One of the things that means is your fuel is transferred from the old ship to the new ship, but it takes time to be loaded into the engine. So what that means to you is that if you turn too quickly, you will lose fuel. So turn, give yourself a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds, it depends on how much fuel you have loaded, before you turn again. All right, um, I'm gonna show you the rest of the ship just while we're uh, flying to our destination. So uh, we head into the back here, uh, which is a little tricky while the ship is moving, but it can be done. Um, all right, so uh, we talked a little bit about the engine already. Uh, now what I didn't talk about is the private space. So these chests and these furnaces are all in the private space. So as the ship uh, rotates, it's a whole new ship, except this, this space right here is preserved across rotations. Alright, so you store your valuables in these chests. And you can also add other blocks. If you want to add a brewing stand or something over here, you can do that. Uh, but be aware that it will not be rotated. What that means is, 
if it's over here while the ship is facing north, then it might be over here when the ship is facing west. You know, something like that. Uh, so it'll work, but it's it, it's sometimes inconvenient. Anyway, the other thing I want to talk about is the water ladder. So I have this switch and that button. Uh, you don't have to land the ship every time you want to get out and walk around or maybe find some more fuel. Uh, you can actually throw this switch, which opens a portal right there. It opens a hole in the floor. And then you hit that button, and then water streams down, allowing you to get out of the ship. And you can be at any height, and you'll still be able to get out of the ship, walk around, and then when you're done, climb back up the water into the ship again. So it's kind of a convenient way to explore without having to land the ship each time. All right, I'm going to actually uh, head back to the bridge. And uh, let's see how far... Oh, my goodness, we're already there. Holy cow, that was fast. It's a long way. <laughs> I did not expect us to get here this fast. I'm going to turn off cruise. And I keep trying until it works. There we go. All right, so here we are over Varus. Specifically, this is the Crassus Aircraft Works. If you've seen the Airship Pirate series, then you know that that is where an evil man builds his fighters that he uses to attack his enemies. Um, now I'm going to go in the back and I'm going to turn off the engine to save on fuel. And, um, let me see. Why don't we give that water ladder a test? We're pretty high. Uh, yeah, that's alright. Just be a bit of a drop. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, so let me show you how that works. We throw the switch. Opens up the portal, watch your step, and then uh, you press the button, down comes the water, okay. Now you want to be careful not to uh, uh, go down it too fast, or you may beat the water to the ground, if you know what I mean, and that can be very uncomfortable. Uh, let's see, there we go, it's still falling. Okay, this might not be a, such a good idea just because it's so far, but eh, why not? All right, so you get in this thing. If you want to speed things up, you can kind of poke your head out the side. And then go back in at the last second. All right. Oh, I hear a zombie. Uh-oh. Hmm. Um, I'm a little nervous right now. Huh. I wonder where the zombie is. Anyway, uh, so yeah, here we are. Now we're on the ground. I can explore. Oh, that looks funky. Um, uh, let's see. What's over here, anyway? Oh yeah, there's this pretty uh, garden thing right near the Crassus Aircraft Works. Ah, it? oh, it's a long walk. Well, I don't want to use up too much of your time. Suffice it to say that there's some really cool stuff you can explore um, with that airship. So let's head back up to the ship. Um, we can talk about a few other things while I'm getting back up there. Uh, so for one thing... Uh, this, unlike Movecraft, so in Movecraft, if you fall out of a ship or you jump off or whatever, the ship will eventually stop because it will be released. Ships require pilots in order to function. Even if it's an automated pilot, it, there has to be some kind of pilot. Well, this is just redstone and command blocks. Obviously, there doesn't have to be a pilot. What that means to you is, well, that's could be a good thing that ships keep going. You could maybe set up a, a cool little automated ferry system or something. It could also be really, really bad because if you leave your ship on uh, and running and then you uh, fall out or something, uh, your ship will keep going. Oh, that was a little stupid. Uh, I, I closed the portal before turning it off. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, uh, so... Uh, so like I say, your ship will keep going until it runs out of fuel or it hits something. Now you can try and catch up with it, and if you log off and then the chunks are unloaded, well, then it will stop. Uh, but yeah, it can be a problem. So be aware of that. Uh, let me show you the upstairs. So we have this kind of cool living section up here. Uh, there's uh, four uh, small cabins, um, and as the sign says, the bed spawns reset whenever the ship moves. So uh, you'll want to rest when you stop, uh, and preferably before you go exploring. There's a smokestack over there. Um, uh, let's see. It does work with multiple ships. Uh, so that button that was at the server spawn... Um, how much fuel did I... 
Okay, I used a little over a stack to get here. Um, it's so that, like I say, that button near the spawn. If I create a ship and then I fly off, someone else can come along and make another ship. Um, you can have as many ships as you want operating at once. The system should be able to handle that just fine. I've tested it with three. I haven't tested it with more than that. Uh, and you do reach a point where lag does become an issue. Uh, this is obviously, it's not a plug-in, it's not as efficient, doesn't have all of Movecraft's op optimizations, which means that it is more laggy than Movecraft. A lot more, actually. Uh, you know, in Movecraft you could have a 20,000 block ship and be just fine. This ship is, I think it's 6,000 blocks, um, because air counts, unfortunately. Anyway, um, this ship is about 6,000 blocks, and you don't want to have more than two or three of them before it really starts to lag. Um, well, that is about it. Uh, so I would encourage you to, to, to download this and play around with it. If you do want to put these ships into your own server, uh, it is possible, into your own world, I should say. It is possible. It is difficult, though. Um, basically, uh, in order for the rotations to work, each of the uh, ships, each of the di directions of the ships have to have uh, code that allows it to copy the rotations. And they have to be at the spawn point so that they're never unloaded. And it has to be uh, at, at specific coordinates. So in order to doesn't that look doesn't that just look amazing? Ah, I think that's awesome. Anyway, um, uh, in order to make this work, uh, you would have to change all that. Um, I could maybe give you a few like schematics that you could use. Maybe uh, that you you could change your server's spawn point. That might work, uh, and then you don't have to make all those changes. If there's a lot of interest in this, uh, I could do that. I could also make other ships. I could make a submarine. I could make a sailing ship. If there's a lot of interest, I could do that um, so that you can play around with that on uh, Minecraft 1.8. Well, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this. I personally have really enjoyed it. Um, so if, you've, uh, if you find this helpful, go ahead and uh, subscribe and like the video and all that good stuff. Uh, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in the future. Come on, turn off. There you go. Um, thank you for watching.